All right, everybody, we have a little bit of a different video tonight. And making all these YouTube videos for you guys, my laptop has actually run out of hard drive space. This led me into an investigation in terms of, okay, what do I need to do next? How can I ensure that I have enough storage to keep making videos? I evaluated all the possible options. I looked at buying a new laptop. I looked at buying an external hard drive. I looked at the cloud. But then I realized that there was actually a pretty easy way for me to just simply add storage to the laptop that I'm using now. So in this video from Network From Home, I'll walk you through the process I followed in terms of determining the storage to add to my laptop and then how to go about installing it. An easy way I found to determine what type of storage you can add to your laptop is I actually stumbled upon the Crucial website Crucial is a common manufacturer of storage solutions. I'll link to this website down below in the description, but I'll walk you through the steps that I followed here. Right here on the main page of their website, you can go up to upgrade my computer, and then you walk through a few different steps. You list your manufacturer of your laptop. I have a Dell and it's an Inspiron 3580. So the next we're looking at the model, Inspiron, Inspiron laptop. It's a laptop, so we'll move on. The model 3580, 3580. So in filling out some basic information about the computer you wanna upgrade, you can very quickly find out the type of storage solutions you can add to your laptop. If I go over here to the storage tab, here it is. What's supported by your system? Good news, your laptop will work with both Crucial PCIe and SATA SSDs. For those that are unfamiliar, those are two different types of storage solutions. And here's where I had to do a little bit more research. I didn't wanna have to reinstall an operating system, move all my data from my old hard drive to my new hard drive, I just wanted to add capacity to my existing laptop so I just could have a set and forget solution that I just start using immediately. The good news here, as you can see, is that my laptop is compatible with both SATA and PCIe storage solutions. So what I wanted to find out was what was currently installed in my laptop. To do that, all I had to do was scroll down, look at this PC. As you can see, this is the drive that's just about full. But to find out what type of storage this is, I right click, properties. Then you can look at the hardware tab. And right here, NVMe Toshiba disk drive. So if I just wanna add storage capacity to my laptop, as you can see here, I already have an NVMe disk drive installed. But the Crucial website is saying that my laptop is compatible with NVMe and SATA disk drives. So my thought here is I will just add a SATA disk drive to my laptop. It will serve as additional capacity and I won't have to reinstall an operating system or do anything crazy. Okay, now we're gonna work on installing this hard drive into my laptop. The first thing we wanna make sure, we wanna make sure this laptop is shut down. It's completely powered off. And now we're gonna work on around the back. There are some screws. We need to remove this back panel. So let's undo all these screws now. To remove these screws, I have a little handy screwdriver. I'll provide this in the description as well in case you're interested, but we're gonna use this and take off all these screws. Now that all these screws are out, we're gonna pull out this disk drive here. And behind it, you'll see there are two more screws. We're gonna remove those now. From here, we can gently pry this edge or this case off of the back of your laptop. There are trim pullers that I can provide in the description as well if you want to get some assistance here. The first time you do this with your laptop, it can be difficult. I've done it a few times, so it comes off pretty easily. And we'll set that aside. Now you just wanna make sure that you don't touch anything that you don't need to. Static electricity can actually fry your laptop. So just make sure you're grounded or you use a non-static wrist strap when you're doing this work. Just for your awareness, right here is where the NVMe SSD is located. 
We don't want to change anything with this because we don't want to have to reinstall the operating system or anything like that. Over here is where your SATA SSD can be installed. As you can see, there's nothing here now, so we can just install the SSD that I bought. Before we do that, we need to disconnect. This is your battery. We need to disconnect your battery to the rest of your motherboard. This slides right out here, as you can see. Now to make sure you don't have any residual power in your laptop, you wanna open it up and press the power button a few times. So we're just going to open this up very carefully here. And we're gonna hit, hit the power button a few times, hold it down, make sure there's no power in your laptop. Now we can move forward with installing your SATA SSD. This here is a little holder for your SSD. It's held down, there are four screws here. We're gonna remove those now. Now this holder will pop right out. As you can see, these are four mounting screws for your SATA SSD. And let's get this SSD unpackaged and opened up. Now we're gonna take these screws off of this holder here. It's held on by tape. See if we can get that tape off and get these four mounting screws out of there. Before we put the SSD into the holder, there's a little piece of tape here that we want to remove. This, this will allow us to connect your SATA SSD to your laptop. It's a little hard to see, but as you pull this tape up and you get this ribbon out of the way, you can see this is connected already. This connector will connect to your SATA SSD and it's already connected to the hard drive. So this is the SATA connector we're worried about. Let's get this SATA SSD into the holder and then into the laptop. Now we're gonna take this SSD with the label facing up, this side facing up, and we're gonna connect it to this connector on my laptop. Let's go easy with it. it slides right in. Now let's get this holder on here. Now once we have our SSD in the holder, there are four screw holes in the sides. We're gonna use our four mounting screws that came with the SSD holder to mount the SSD to this holder. Now our SSD is in the holder. It's connected to this connector here that's attached to our motherboard. We're gonna attach these last four mounting screws that we initially took off to remove this holder. Okay, our SSD is now completely installed. We need to reconnect the battery and put the cover back on the back of our laptop. So we'll do that now. Now that we have this back cover in place, if you recall, these two screws were the last two that we took out. So those are the first two that we put back in. Now we put the hard drive back in and connect all the screws that are connecting this outer cover to your laptop. At this point, we wanna power this on so we can complete the installation. Okay, now our laptop has booted up. Let's see if we can see that new drive we installed. We're gonna go here to PC again. And what you'll see is you actually still only see one drive because there are a few other steps we have to do here. So let's X out of this. If we go to disk here, create and format hard disk. We're gonna click on this. It's going to open up disk management. And as you can see right here, we're prompted to set up this new disk that we connected to the laptop. So with this option, we're just gonna hit okay, GPT, GUID partition table, okay. The next thing we wanna do here, we wanna search disk and go manage disk and volumes. As you can see, this disk zero is the disk that we added. So let's go to create volume, create simple volume. You can name it whatever you want. 
I'm going to use it for backup. So let's call it backup, drive letter B, NTFS, the full drive, and then let's do format. And now when you go into this PC, you can see backup right here. But when you go here, backup, and you have about a terabyte of storage, this is how we know the installation is complete and the SATA SSD is now usable. If you have any questions about this process, please drop a comment below. I will link to the crucial website I used. I will also provide a link to all the tools that I used in this procedure. If you found this video useful, please give it a like. That way it will get shared with others who are looking for help with the same procedure. And lastly, if you like the content that I present on this channel, please subscribe. I'll have plenty more useful tips and tricks coming down the line. As always, thanks for checking out this episode from Network From Home, and we'll catch you on the next one.